Sing what you feel inside. My heart sounds like. Yeah. Sing, girl. Um. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, and. Hi guys, I am Kabela Mohale. What's up guys, uh, I'm Mohale. Mohale. I am married uh, to a beautiful queen called Kabela Mohale now. We have been married for, I think, a year and a few months, but we've been together for a good eight, ten years. In grade 10, I decided I wanted to go to the National School of Arts because I was reading a newspaper and I saw an article in there about the school. Pretty artistic, so I said, Ma, I want to go to this place. She said, cool, I went there. And the first day she dropped me off, this car drives in. It's like an old greenish Mazda. And I'm sitting in the back seat and I'm like, Woof! Who's, who's that, that guy? Like, fresh meat. So I text my friends and I'm like, fresh meat, there's a new guy in town and he's good looking. I remember I was sitting at the grandstands and I see this this fairly good looking woman. I got to know his name and then my boyfriend at the time came to fetch me. But him and I became friends. We would go and we'd sit at this place called the Fairy Garden and we'd just talk and we'll sing songs like, I can't help but wait. Try and be sweet and stuff like that. And I was just like, yo, I'm in this toxic relationship and here's this guy. His girlfriend is all the way in Bolugwane and he's talking to me, this good looking girl right now, <laughs> about his girlfriend. So he must be one of the good guys. After a year or two, we became good friends. I don't even think we were dating when he first kissed me. Either it was during break or we were missing a class or something. And we ended up in her drama department where it was empty. And then guy kissed me and then I kissed him back because I liked him. Man, she was bad. Oh damn, she was bad. And he was a good kisser as well, so... I kind of just told her I like her. And from telling her I like her, it's almost like then there was that automatic, yeah, we are a thing. He did not ask me out. We were talking to a friend and I can't remember what the friend was saying. And then he just looked at me and said, yeah, she's my girlfriend. And I was like... Like, Kanja, like, you didn't ask me out. There wasn't, can I be your girl? I mean, your man. Can you be my girl? Nothing. But boys, don't do it like that. Ask the girl out. He was in Matrake, and I think I was a year below him. And then here we are, 12 years later. In high school, it was amazing. But our dating and varsity lasted for just a year. So I became Christian at that time. And I just felt like uh, our relationship is not really um, how I would like it to be. She was looking at all these men of gods and I look nothing like one. And I'm doing nothing like one. And I'm not, I have not fully given my life to Christ as she has. When I started saying we can't have sex, he was like, okay, cool. And then moved to, okay, you can't touch my bum. Okay, now we can't kiss anymore. And then when I got to, we can't hold hands. She, he was like, no, this girl's crazy. I had to, I struggled. I struggled pretty hard. It was just tough. Um, so we ended up breaking things off. Um, and I was just like, you know what? I think I want to grow my relationship with God and maybe you can as well. I think it's really important with uh, the people that we have around. If you are taught truth, but not necessarily on the true foundation of how to go about it, it can be detrimental. And I think that's how it was for us. But one thing I really, really loved about him is his continuous affection and his continuous pursuit um, for me. I used to chill in the chapel almost every day, but mostly on Fridays, and he would show up on Fridays. He literally showed me that I still want you, and yes, I don't have it together. I'm not this um, Christian that you are at the moment, but I still have a heart full of love for you, and I want to be with you. There was moments where I was just like, no, I'm not doing that, like, and then God would say, put the pride aside. He helped heal some of the wounds that I carried in my heart and even some of the wounds he caused in me. He was very steadfast in saying, I'm going to help heal those wounds that I caused in you. The one thing I had to learn is the principle to stay uh, because this journey is hard, but it's completely worth it. And there's been so many moments where we wanted to cut the trip short and say, nope, you can go and take another ride with somebody else. But yet he still pursued me. And I think that's why I am so in love with him because he, he will not stop showing me that it's you that I want, it's you that I love, and I'll pursue you continuously. I do not know how we stay together, but I always give it back to God and say, 
completely could only be him to keep us together as long as he did. So, Baba, um, thanks for being someone I can trust with my heart. I can trust you with my heart. I can trust you with my vulnerability. I can trust you with areas that not anyone knows but God alone. Thank you for saying yes to the call. Thank you for saying yes to marrying me, of course. Thank you for saying yes to being the mother of my kids. Thank you for saying yes to greatness. And thank you, man, for just allowing me to be me. You don't always do it perfectly, but I'm glad that you try. And thank you, just for that. We're good. Let's do that thing. Oh no. Come on. Nah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Why are you always going to be like that? Okay, are my you starting? Heart, yes. Sing what you feel inside my heart sounds like. What sing what you feel inside my heart sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, sing what you think it sounds like in here. In me. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love <laughs> with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I think. So you think that's what my heart is singing? Yeah. Girl, when we get home. I'm gonna break that I, thing. Come up. on, somebody. <laughs> okay. Did I, did I? Nah, you missed the whole thing. Ah, fit. What was it singing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> We're fair too. Um, okay. What do you think is the hardest thing to love about yourself? Wow. Hardest thing to love about me? That's a tough question. I could be stubborn. I could be straight up stubborn. You think? <laughs> I'm stubborn and yeah. I challenge stuff. I don't I don't go for the norm. I don't like conforming. Yeah. So I challenge every single thing that's worth challenging. Yeah. And sometimes I've learned I've challenged stuff and there was no need to. But mm -hmm. because I'm stubborn I did. Honest. Your turn, Baba. Oh, it's me. Uh, it's born. When are you the most in love with me? Good Lord, I'm glad you get this question. <laughs> Tell me, when are you the most in love with me? I'm most in love with you when I see you interact with our baby. Of course, I knew you were going to talk about that. Yes, but I'm most in love with you as well when you're loving on me. Um, and that's a lot. What's loving on you look like? Um, Loving on me is um, when you're patient with me. Um, when I wake up and I catch you looking at me or smiling at me. Um, That's when, creepy. It's not creepy, babe. Oh. <laughs> um, um, when you forgive me constantly, loving on me looks like being honest with me, mm -hmm. um, leading me, um, and allowing me to be me. You know, yeah. being in love with Cabello and being satisfied with Cabello oh, and sure me being enough <laughs> be me being enough for you yeah. um yeah those those are parts of you loving on me loving on me looks like you listen mm. respecting me mm -hmm. uh, and honoring me mm -hmm. and throwing that booty on me <laughs> as often as <laughs> you should probably <laughs> well the guy me gave me a clear <laughs> so Make another baby. Yes. Um, but I really think um, the best way to love on me is to listen to me mm. because that's how you navigate how to be who you should be for me in moments mm. I need you to be. Yeah, and listening to you, I guess, helps me know how to love you the way you need to be. Loved. Exactly. How do I express my love to you financially? Don't don't even say I'm stingy with it. My girl's stingy. Yo. <laughs> She's stingy, guys. She's not stingy. Yeah. She just she believes in starving us so that our bank just has money. That's not starving. No, no. Like, <laughs> Babe. <laughs> no, but I'm more like, hey, um, it's fifty bucks. Let's buy the coffee and. Chill and look at each other and invest in our relationship mm -hmm. because I think it's very easy to invest in assets more than relationship sure. but I feel like relationships are the assets mm -hmm. so but loving on me financially is literally just I need you to help us save 
Mm. Yeah, but I don't need you to suffocate our relationship <laughs> to have money in the bank. <laughs> you know what? You know what? And I, I think I expressed this really nicely, baby. I think when it comes to financial love languages, right? You are more of the splurger. And not in an unhealthy way. So. Necessarily so. So he's more of the splurger. He expresses his financial love language by spoiling us and yeah. you know, and I express my financial love language by saving, right? You're just keeping the money in the bank. Yes. Um so that's how it is. Share with your wisdom. <laughs> Okay. What do you think turns me young that I'm afraid to admit? Why would you say that? <laughs> that you're afraid to admit? Yeah, what do you think turns me on that I'm afraid to admit? There's nothing you're afraid to admit. Actually, have, they, have people been around you? Like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> um, Let me say this. What, thing, what do you think turns me on that yeah. you're afraid to do with me? Huh. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't say I'm afraid to do with you. I think I'm learning to be very comfortable in my own skin. And yeah. once I do that, sure. I won't be afraid. So you, you, yes, there are times where, you know, you're very loving, romantic. You, And then sometimes you, you want it wild. Like, just break. be wild, be yourself. Bah. Like, you know what I mean? But I think it's it's just about being wild, um, and I think that's just the part in our in our marriage where you're patient with me because you're allowing me to learn to be comfortable in my own skin, um, mm -hmm. and you say that all the time that that's part of just our sexuality, just wanting yeah. me to be comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. Not to say I'm not entirely, but I'm on that journey. Ah, I'm gonna break it down. You won't scare me once. Like I'm gonna scare you. Like yeah. <laughs> Is time. that enough? What do you think is my superpower and why? I love this question. What do I think is your superpower? Is my superpower and why? And why? Your woman. Okay. And I think it's more of a superpower when I saw you give birth. I can't do that. Yeah. I'm a man. I can't give birth. I can't carry nothing for nine months. Mm. I can't I can't push and have contractions the way you did. Mm. I can't get cut like what you did because the only cut I ever wanted was circumcision. Now imagine being cut. You didn't even you want did. it, you ran away. <laughs> and I think being a woman is so far, it's so far more than just giving birth. Yeah. But I think seeing you give birth has made me realize that only a woman can have those superpowers. Mm. Um, and yeah, man, there's just so much to you. I mean, you're the crown of creation. Mm. Yeah, the last thing that God designed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was good. And he saw it fit. <laughs> okay, <dude. laughs> okay, cool. I'll start. Okay. Dear Mukhale, mm -hmm. you are God's gift to me. I sometimes sit with myself and thank God for thinking of me when he planned out the woman he would set apart to share forever with you. I talk to God about you. Yeah, what you say? I celebrate you. I celebrate us. Although not perfect, our love is worth celebrating. You have shown me how deep and how freeing love is. You have partnered so well with Holy Spirit in breaking down the walls built from pain, allowing my heart to breathe again. You are continuously showing me what it looks like to be childlike in love. Your heart is pure. Marla, you have affirmed value and worth in me. It's in the way you look at me. It's the way I catch you smiling at me sometimes. The way you hold me and the way you gracefully carry my heart. You make room for me and I didn't know it, but you make room for me. Room for me to be, room for me to dream, room for me to make mistakes and room for me to grow. I haven't always acknowledged this, um, but now I see it. You see treasure in me, sometimes treasure I haven't even discovered I have. Thank you for letting God lead you as you gracefully lead baby M and I. Thank you for letting my Heavenly Father teach you the best way to love me. I love you so much and cannot believe that I get to be the girl who gets to see firsthand the will of God for your life come to life. 
Baby M and our future children are blessed to have you in our lives. I love you. You guys are the boy you're I know. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe this? I do. Your Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I love you. I know I said I'll just say that. Mm. But I love you. And I think I don't have the ability to, but I surrender to the one who is love to help me love you. I could only love you in love's true form if I actually follow who love is. And as great as you are, you're not great enough to keep this relationship going. Yeah. Neither am I. But I think it's because of love. We've tried to walk out, but love calls us back. We've tried to run, but run, love runs after us. It embraces us. It ignites something within us that the world is anticipating. But it's only because of love. Yeah. I say I love you, but I don't know what that means. Because I'm still trying to comprehend what love and who love is. But every day I avail myself to do that. And for the rest of our lives, I will avail myself to loving you the way love loves you. You didn't even look at your paper. <laughs> I don't need it. Oh. Okay. I love you. Oh, good. Thank you. Do you believe that? Yeah. I do. That's yeah, real. Yeah. Is my makeup fine? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much for watching our episode of Defining Love. Uh, you could definitely catch me uh, on Instagram uh, at MOG underscore MOH and my beautiful wife on Cabello double L with a double L, underscore Mohale. Yeah, and then you got to tell them about the oh, playlist yes. and um, the YouTube channel. Oh yes, on our YouTube channel, it is Cabello Mohale, and that's where you can find more of us. Yeah. Also, down below, in the description box, catch our curated playlist. It's the, the, the songs that we enjoy yeah, together. It's a glimpse of them. It's a glimpse of them. It's, there's a whole lot more. Subscribe yeah, to yeah, this yeah, channel yeah, to yeah. watch more of these awesome, um, Shots or videos with other amazing couples. Yeah. Subscribe. I hope you got your notification bell on. On, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, yeah, and watch. And comment and like, yeah, guys. And after you're done watching it, share it with people. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shop. Yes. <laughs> I'm camera shy. He's gonna tell a story that I don't want him to tell, but it's fine, I'll tell it first because then I can tell it my way. <laughs> we kissed in a shopping. <laughs> but this is the last time I'm telling this story. What has kept you attracted to me in our relationship? Mm. Yeah. Oh, babe. <laughs> but yeah, you, everything about you, not. Everything? Yeah. Everything about ah. you. Everything. <laughs> ah, we've got flaws, Pela. <laughs> we all have flaws. <laughs> um, but your mind, especially your mind, Baba, um, you've got an incredible mind. Um, and just the way you want to lead, it's sexy for me. Yeah. You missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. No more questions. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're just looking at us. I don't know what, <laughs> what to do now. <laughs>